I didn't think that she was going to talk about this. I thought she was just going to pay it because that's what she's been doing when it comes to her getting backlash for the problematic things that she does. Right. So she talks about the whole t-shirt situation that had the neo-Nazi comedian, Sam Hyde. Okay. And I'm going to play the video, right? Cause I mean, it's censored. So, you know, we, 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 we good to play this. It's, it's an interview that she had with Ebro. Um, and they were talking about a array of things, but they were also talking about, you know, the backlash and I'm, and I'm glad she kind of is doing interviews where she's like addressing things, you know, you know, address it. But her response was trash though. Let's be very clear. I didn't expect anything less coming from Doja Cat. Doja Cat is at a point now where, you know, she is, she is that famous enough to say whatever she wants. And you know, her hive is going to continue to support her. And, and look, let me, let's be clear. Crown. <laughs> I'm going to continue to listen to her music. It's, it's a weird, see, it's a weird, relationship that I have, a parasocial relationship that I have with Doja Cat, okay? I don't like her personality. Like, her personality is dog water, okay? But the music is good, okay? I ain't gonna lie. I, I definitely listen to Paint the Town Red. That is one of my favorite songs. I'm not gonna hold you, okay? But every, anytime this girl tweets, talks, make a make a dang live, the, complaining about people, it's, I just be like, girl, if you don't... Like, I'm just saying. But anyway, she gets into this interview with Ebro and she talks about the whole uh, shirt incident. Like I said, she wore uh, a shirt that had Sam Hyde in it. Now, here's what she had to say. Like, uh, first of all, I'm not a political person at all, but I do just, I, I feel like when it comes to that sort of thing, I have to just back away because that's not what I want to, politics are not something that I want to, sweep into my life i want to i just want creativity and joy and sort of the immediate reality of like my my friends my family and my my music and whatever you know and i'm assuming that's how something like the whole t-shirt incident happens where it's like yeah i see somebody who's funny yeah and come to find out yeah. You don't hurt people's feelings in some way. Yeah, yeah. You don't, I mean, you don't know. It's some more than hurt somebody's feelings, but let's continue. Oh, you can't know everything. And me wearing a T-shirt of somebody who I thought was funny is an attack on people. It's an attack. Right. It's not an attack. It didn't affect the world in a way where we now have to look behind our backs. We don't. And I know that. And people, me saying that right now, I'm going to get a lot of responses of people being like, yes, it did. It's going to change everything. It's going to... Well, I, think, I think some of it you is, know? I think some of it, which is why I wanted to ask you to have this convo, I think some of it is trust, right? Yeah. Right? Meaning, yeah. if we knew more of you, we saw you, heard from you, we knew what you stood for, right? Something like that happens, you could go, oh, my bad, I didn't know. I also think that I'm I'm way too famous, one hundred percent, and mm. and um, I'm doing what I can slowly but surely to separate myself from this kind of narrative or whatever this world is that I kind of it's not kind of built, um, and I'm fine tuning it and and tailoring it to what. I want out of it. I feel like it doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what some people know. Cause some, there's people, there's fans that I have who know that. Get it. I don't. I don't put my. I don't put any effort or any any involvement into whatever the fuck that negative shit was. Mm -hmm. I am more just funny guy on t-shirt wore it that day. Right. Cool. Right now, um, we're going to stop her right there, child. Now, girl, <laughs> I just have a couple of things to say about that. Right. I think the part that got me that I want I don't want to forget the people are acting like me wearing this shirt is going to change things. And it's going to be like people are going to have to watch their backs. And it's not the case. Like we I think for the for the most of it, I think people understand that, you know, you wearing that shirt is not going to be the end of the world, right? It's not going to cause chaos. It's not going to people that are anti-Semitic 
are going to stay anti-Semitic. They're going to be neo-Nazis, people that are neo-Nazis and people that are just like that. They're not going to, I mean, they're going to keep on doing what they're doing. Like it's, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to be much of a change. Right. Um, she's not influencing people to be neo-Nazis. Let's be very clear. And I don't think that that wasn't her intentions. I, I, I believe that it wasn't. However, I think what people are doing is just holding you accountable. If I wear a shirt that has a sticker on it, right? Or if I wear a shirt, if I, if a regular person wears a shirt like that, okay, let's say they wear that at their job. Or let's say, or let's say somebody said, somebody knows where somebody work at, and they said this person was wearing this and it had like an emblem on it and it was and it was uh anti Semitic or this, that, and the third, they get fired. Okay, they, they they get reprimanded for it, okay? And I think that's what it is. I think people are holding you accountable for it. We understand that you didn't think too much of this, okay? Because a lot, cause let's be clear, a lot of us didn't think too much of it because I didn't know who Sam Hyde was, but when I looked him up, okay, did my research, I was like, oh, okay. Okay, Sam Hyde is known for being an alt-right comedian who reportedly ties to neo to neo to the neo-Nazi movement. He has done several donations to the movement. I mean, he, he, he's, he's a funny guy, but I'm just like, if that's a funny guy to you, girl, I, I, I gotta know what, what's your taste in comedy, honey. I, I, I need to know this because he's just more than some funny guy. It's funny, hateful. Okay. It's, it's definitely, yeah. I mean, I would have, and, and look, let's be very clear. Doja Cat can do whatever she wants. Nobody's making Doja Cat do anything. And, that, and that's the thing. She she thinks that we're making her try to, to, to. Maybe there's some fans. Let's be very clear. Maybe there's some people on Twitter that are saying you need to use your platform more responsibly. Look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. I'm not expecting my singers and artists to be politically correct at all. Right. But when somebody says something and somebody is holding you accountable, all right, my bad shit. You you had this person that's on your shirt. The person is problematic. You know, I, I think the problem also is Doja Cat is known for having those problematic moments, those accidental problematic moments. Okay, so the whole tiny chat thing. You was on this tiny chat thing. You were in a group chat with a bunch of racists that were saying slurs, that were saying all types of god-awful stuff. Let's be very clear. Now, and I, and I defended you back in the day, right? You couldn't control what the dudes were saying in there. Looking back, you fostered the environment because you were there and you enabled. You didn't say, hey, you can't say that. Hey, you don't do that. And I don't care if you was in your little concert and you telling some white girls they can't say N-words ain't you know what from your song. Okay, I don't care about that. Okay, that's after the fact. You also had a verse in there talking about didn't do nothing. And if people get into what didn't do nothing means or where that came from, like you have too many moments of you being anti-black and anti-whatever. Okay, for for people to just let that little sh thing of you wearing the shirt slide, and we know that you're trolling people, so it just it just looked like you were you could have possibly been doing that just to get people's you know attention and and reaction and I don't know, these celebrity child they 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 want to be so problematic and then when somebody calls them out on it then it's a problem then it's oh my goodness like I understand I'm so famous I'm too famous I understand it and you know you guys you you know that it's not that deep and it's it, Girl, in some cases, it is that deep. Maybe you had some Jewish friends, you know, okay, or or well, I mean, neo Nazi. I mean, that's that's they 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 hate everybody that's not white. So your your people of color, people of color that are fans of you, okay, probably felt a way about this, okay. Now you don't have to care, girl, but you pissing off the people that's listening to your music. I I I never understood Doja in that way, like. When even back when she came for her fans, called them stupid and simple and said she gave cash grab music like a part of me don't believe what she's saying. She's just saying that just because this is the this is the era of her album. Like, it's you know, I'm going to be really problematic and edgy, Um, but it just didn't land well. And then, girl, when you look at the numbers of that album, child, you can tell some of your fans left the boat. But I guess, you know, she doesn't care. We're making music. We're, we're doing whatever we want. You know, I get it. It's whatever. But I was very surprised that she she actually spoke about this. I thought she was just gonna let it. I thought she was just gonna pay it. But um, yeah, this this does not change how I feel about Doja. Doja, you may have some good music, but you just ain't. Sh okay, you just not. You ain't. Sh